have uh, Dana in some music. Yeah, I was going to say. <clears throat> Bluetooth is. Shout out to Dana. What's going on, guys? Nate here. Just Couching It Podcast. We're here with Nick, Zach, and Mosiah Clark. We got a guest in the building. Yep. Uh, amateur champion or amateur championship fight coming up? Amateur title fight coming up. Yeah. Wow. Yep. That's awesome. Uh, we were looking up some stats earlier. Uh, number one. Ranked uh, amateur fighter in Wisconsin? Flyweight, yeah. Flyweight. Yeah, yeah, flyweight. Uh, we got the thing yeah. up here February 3rd at the Monona Terrace. Um, if you're from Madison, you know where that is. Uh, Chosen Few. It's a real cool, cool event down there. Uh, excited to have you here. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Thanks yeah. for having me. Uh, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm um, 26 years old. Been wrestling since I was six, so that's kind of how I got into MMA. Just wanted to compete after college. I went to Stevens. Can you Point. can you hold it just a little bit? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So I went to Stevens Point, wrestled there for like three years. Okay. And then after college, I just got kind of bored working out, and I needed that competition. Right. Or like I needed to compete in something. Yep. So then I was like, oh, why don't I try fighting? Heck yeah! So um, um, how how long have you been actually? Uh, training mma then about two years now oh that's okay. awesome wow i watched one of your fights and your ground and pound looks awesome yeah yeah that some, that some, last fight business beating the hell out of yeah. him on the ground <clears throat> that was good yeah. um yeah i don't know i because i got to the fights last late last time i can't remember it was kind of all of a blur but zach was there for the whole thing yeah i was there i saw i saw you knock that dude out that was dope that's fucking cool. Um, so who's your opponent for February 3rd? Isaac something. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Right on, right on. Well, fucking hopefully he's going to get some shit. <laughs> you know anything about him? You know, like, what he specializes in? Uh, not really. I guess he's a striker. Striker? Yeah. I haven't really... I, normally, I just focus on myself. Yeah. Yep. Guess, yep. Yeah. Right now. Yep. So, all right, you're... How many weeks? About what? Four weeks out from the fight? Uh, two, right? Two, yeah. Two. Oh, oh yeah. It's the nineteenth. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. So then is your camp? January's going by quick. So yeah, you're a couple weeks out from the fight. So like, yeah. What? I guess. What mindset are you trying to get in going into that fight? And like you said, just worrying about yourself and your game. Are you just like going out with your trainers and? Yeah, I'm just focused yep. on myself. We got our last hard sparring session tomorrow. Yep. And then. Go hard for another week and then kind of kind of have like take a it recovery easy and week and yep. cut, cut some weight that yep. last week. What's that recovery week like? Do you get in a sauna at all, or do you do you do you do anything? Uh yeah, I was in the sauna for like ten fifteen minutes every morning. Okay, for work. Oh, sauna time. And then the week of the fight, like Monday and Tuesday, I'll like cut I'll cut my sodium and salt intake, mm -hmm. and then Wednesday and Thursday I'll just water load. Just yeah. Just drinking okay. as much water as you can, so it just flushes so your system. So then, you, yeah, and then and then you can just how much do you have to make, cut? Sweat you, the water out. Lean. And yeah, water yeah. is easy to yeah. So I walk around at like one forty two right now, one forty three. I fight at twenty five. Damn. Damn. So normally, damn. damn. If I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's crazy, yeah, dude. dude. Yeah. 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 Normally by like Monday or Tuesday of fight, we got like to be like one forty, and then I can do those last. I can do the like fifteen pounds in three days. Man. Yeah, especially if a lot of it's like water. You're just yep. Yeah, a lot of it's sitting water in the weight. Yeah, sitting in the sauna yep. for like five hours. Mm -hmm. So you just got to be pissing all the time. Yeah, because Monday and Tuesday, like if you cut your salt and sodium intake, that's what like holds on to the water. Yeah. yeah, and then Wednesday and Thursday, I'll drink like two gallons of water, both days, and that will just like flush everything out. Oh yep. my god, yeah, that's cool. It's yeah. just a day of pissing. That's yeah. that's a. That's a crazy process, you know, like yeah, I, I know. dude, I do a, you know, I fix cars and I, it's pretty intense work sometimes, but like, man, just shaving that weight and changing your diet and your whole schedule and everything. That's, that's like a completely different level of like effort and, and determination. Mindset, right? That was always yeah. my favorite part of the ultimate fighter back in the day when they showed like a lot more of the behind the scenes yeah. stuff. Them just locking the, each other. Yeah. The, like, nope, you're in the sauna. Dude, you're cutting this it. weight. Yeah, it's dude. definitely it's the hardest part. Yeah, yeah like <laughs> mentally, like, yeah. I, I feel like that just prepares you for the fight. 
Right. Just I have be, some, like mentally strong. Yeah, like when yeah. you're sitting in the sauna, die. We had uh we had some moments uh with Alton off in the bathroom here where we had to lock him in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is he do you know Alton? Yeah, I know Alton pretty well. Yeah. yeah. Well yeah. He lived here for a couple years. Yeah, we Nick basically lived here too. Yeah, I was on the couch, he was in the room. <laughs> and <laughs> was yeah. he was he a grumpy weight cutter at all? Only when uh, he's fighting at one eighty five. <laughs> which is what he's doing this <laughs> yeah. time. I remember we were out, we were up super late and then had a little bit of commotion between two of them, my friends. Um, they got into it and they were screaming and it was late and he just kept <laughs> busting out of his room. He was like, yo, some people got to sleep. And it was like, and he's, I mean, Alton's intimidating. So then when he comes out of the room, everyone was just like, I... Yeah. All right, we're good. We're good. Like he wore like it five, is late. You're right. <laughs> Sorry. Now that five you say layers that. of like sweatpants and hoodies, and he he rode up with uh, oh, I can't remember who it was, but they had to like just crank the heat, and he uh, just passed out. But he made weight. So yeah, that was up in Prior Lake. So um, I got another question is um, how many uh. How many amateur fights have you had so far? So I've had seven so far. Seven? This is my eighth. Yeah. Nice. Um, wow. Have, have they so, all been at the Terrace? Or where no, have I've you had uh, one in Waukesha, one in Milwaukee, and one in Lacrosse. We've we've okay. been to the Waukesha venue before. That's yeah. that's all right. Yeah. It's that like the Coliseum or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we've yeah, that was actually You've been putting yeah, that's that's some pretty decent work then for so well, you, you said you've only been doing it for the past few years. A couple years, yeah. yeah. I had my first fight six months after training. Wow. So if you win this fight, dude, you're the champ, right? An amateur champ? For chosen few fighting. So then what What would be next for you then? Oh, I'm going pro after this fight. Okay, so you don't have to defend the, the amateur belt. You just go pro? Is that what? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I wasn't sure how that worked. That's pretty sick. Oh, yeah. yeah dude, that's a lot of work for a few years of... <laughs> being in it i know you said you've been wrestling for a while so you've already got like the training and the mindset and you know that right. sort of drive so. wrestling don't teach you how to like put somebody in an arm bar. no but that's what i'm <laughs> right, saying is what, the yeah. fact that you've only been doing ufc for a couple of years and you've already got seven now eight fights coming february um that's a lot of fights yeah, it's it's like learning <laughs> like four or five new sports at, at yeah time. that's between like jujitsu that's a lot of work for time. sure um, I don't want to like give anything away from like the game plan or anything, but uh, like, what are you, what are you going? You going for a knockout? You going for a submission? Honestly, I just want to go have fun. <laughs> All right, for sure. Oh yeah, go out there, let it fly. Whatever happens, yep. happens. put on a show. I feel like that. I like that. And, yeah. Uh, are there any fi fighters that you like try to model yourself after, or you really enjoy watching them? Or I really like watching uh, Justin Gaethje. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, dude, dude, stand and bang. Did you, him, did you see uh, Max? Ho him's uh, Gaethje's fighting Holloway for the BMF at three hundred. That's been confirmed. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yep. Yep. So far, it's yeah, the in main April event at UFC okay, three hundred. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw like them talking about it. I didn't yeah, know it was confirmed. Yeah, it's the main event right now, but I guarantee they'll add like Max two or Hall three. He, Max Holloway put it on his Instagram, so it's got he's got to have a contract. It's on the, it was on yeah. the UFC's. Oh, it was. Yeah, then. yeah, or so, like ESPN. It yeah. said bout so far, something like that. Mm -hmm. That'll be a dude. Both those fighters yeah. are amazing. They're, yeah, the card's so stacked. It's like, are they going to do more than five <laughs> main fights? Because some of those fights you can't put on the prelims. And then how many how many fights are going to be five round fights, like the whole main card? That's what I'm saying. It's gonna the the it's gonna go till three a.m. Six hours. Of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on where it is, you're just gonna be sitting there like, uh. I'll be down for the ride though. That'll yeah, that dope. that's gonna be a crazy card. But yeah. yeah. Um. So you you like Justin Gaethje? That's and Michael Chandler. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Chandler. Yeah. I just like watch, watch explosive. Fighters, like, get after they're, yeah, they're yeah. they're both super explosive, violent guys. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was hoping that Gaethje got another shot at the Islam, or not another shot, a shot at Islam after beating Poirier, but yeah, or was that at one seventy? Oh, I don't remember. Because they might have been know. like, I'm not cutting weight since it's for the BMF. I kind of remember Maybe. that being a thing. 
But either way. Yeah, the BMF's got to be some catch weight, whatever yeah. it is. Shit was so, that was, that was dope. We got Cheeto Vera and Sean O'Malley coming up too. That'll be good. Yeah, that'll be good. Cause yeah, I, I really want. I feel like I'm the only person that wants Cheeto to win that fight. I love Cheeto. Ah, I like Sean. I like I Sean like, right I now. I like both Sean. of them. To be honest, yeah, they're yeah. both. Yeah, they're both pretty cool dudes. But, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, we talked about how long you've been in it. We talked about your wrestling background. Um, oh, wait, actually, we gotta. I gotta. We gotta. Just before I forget, Zach, open that drawer real quick. This drawer? Yeah, that drawer. This isn't the actual one you get, but I just had to say congratulations on winning our fantasy football this year. You uh, you took home the gold. I'll take, I'll take that. <laughs> so yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. All them waiver wire moves and trade. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, he took. He won. Congratulations. <laughs> Nick loves it. I didn't get last place. Hey, I did not get last I'm place. I'm happy about that. Zeus I'm deserves so last happy about Zeus that. I was so place. mad. Yeah. Hey, does last place have to do anything? No, <laughs> not, we not so this year. We we're should just be starting it up. I, yeah, yeah I said we should do some like last place <laughs> Stop uh, playing. losers uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> penalty, and everyone was like, eh, and because we're we're pretty avid golfers during the summer, so I was like, we well, only had it, six people. Too. It'd be fun if we could like. Whoever gets last place has to play a round of golf in like a a skirt and like a crop top or something like in a girl's or like yeah. a dress or something or, or like that. And everyone was like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. And it's like, dude, I was right. that it's, close it's to funny. getting last place. It's I was that. Yeah. The yeah. And then I was it. just yeah. like, no one wanted to do it. No one wanted <laughs> to do it. <laughs> <laughs> next year, we'll for sure do something like yeah, that. We're though. trying to get 10 people next year and throw in a stuff. You, you do any fantasy football? No, I haven't been yeah. playing fantasy for a couple of years. He ain't got time for that. Yeah. 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 He's hitting the bag. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most of the time I just watch fighting. Yeah, dude. Uh, Zach, you were saying something interesting earlier. Um, oh, about yeah. About like, so like with football and stuff, you go ahead. It was your thing. Well, yeah, with any other sport, you know, you can turn it on and you can do stuff around the house and kind of listen to it. But with MMA, you can't take your eyes off that because as soon as you do, it's like, it's oh, probably, yeah, it's and you're gonna just miss it. Right? It's probably happened to like <laughs> at least five or six times where I like, have looked at my phone uh, and like, looked down and just yep. the O oh, and then it you is have to my watch the knockout. favorite thing to see live. Because when you go to a live event, you know, you're, you're not taking your eyes off of it. You paid money for your ticket. You paid to go in there. And, and then when you do, man, it's so worth it. The show that those guys put on. Yeah. Like, oh man! Yeah, I always tell everyone it's so different than watching on TV. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. The environment, especially when you can like hear the gloves, hear, hear every hear little, like, someone like, get yeah. hit, and you're like, oh shit! Yo. Uh, yeah, the like, stomping on a the, body on the shot. Yeah, a body shot that just claps, and shots. you're like, that's <laughs> yeah. a yeah. rip. Leg kicks. Too. TV, yeah, TV doesn't do the shots to the body justice. It doesn't do the leg kicks justice. That's what's so cool about the watching someone the get Benona choked Terror out live. Center. Yeah, um, watching someone get choked out live is like it's such a small intense. room you can hear everything. <laughs> it's yeah, not I mean, a small no, room, but it's like but yeah, they pack they pack that place in. Yeah, like, it, it's, like it's it's the way super it's dense. designed. Yep. You can hear everything from the center. It's oh, pretty yeah. sick. It's pretty sick. Same with like uh um what was it? Uh, you you said you fought in Waukesha. That yeah, that uh, what is that it, the Coliseum? Yeah, like whatever it? Coliseum yeah. it is there. Yeah, it's right by the airport. Um, that's a fun place to watch fights at because usually you can get like the ringside seats oh, yeah, that are yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah, there, yeah. and it's like we, where's uh, you where's see some crazy. Fighting at? Um, it's funny at the what is it the Masonic? Yeah, the Masonic, yeah, the Madison yeah, yeah, Masonic. Yeah, yeah. I think it's like March eighth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never been there, but. Uh, hopefully I can make it. I'll your, be your fight too, February. So I got a kid that on the way, uh, about to right. pop February eighteenth. Right. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be. Uh, Dude, I I'm on call. I I'm on call. You know, I spoiled that on the podcast last time. Yeah, we talked about it. We already <laughs> Nick, Nick let it loose Oops. on the last one, so it, it's out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. I was just sitting here, and I was like, "You," and then your little guy, and I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, hold what? on, <laughs> yeah, my bad, what? my bad." Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, we're all um, excited. For chosen that. few twenty four. Chosen few yep. twenty four. Yeah. All right. Chosen few twenty four. February third. Put it on your calendar. Go. Oh, sweet. You told fighters. me 
February 9th, I think, Zach. So that's, that's, I can even more likely go now. Cause, f- yeah, that's. February 3rd is what I said, right? Yes. You said 9th. Oh, well, maybe I. It's right there. Yeah. I can go for Shit. sure on that one. All right. And we got table seats too, I think, dude. I always, you always see, like, um, <laughs> Mo's got our tickets. Got those you always see sponsors, party. sponsors yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And I always wonder, like, why doesn't Restero sponsor any of this stuff? You know? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think they know about it. We got a... Jay did. Jay used to go to all... Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, he did. I don't know. We'll have to talk to him about it. Hunter was telling... Me, he was telling Drake about the podcast, so... Oh, about the podcast? Yeah. I was wearing my hoodie when uh, when I went to my chiropractor last week and got an adjustment. She was like, oh, uh, what is your... Like, what podcast is that? And I was like, it's actually my podcast. (laughs) (laughs) And she was like, oh, is it? You have a podcast? I was like, yeah, it's me and my buddies, like, this and that. We just talk sports and (laughs) have people on and football and we drink and have fun. It's pretty much like you just try to go out, like, we just have fun with it and hopefully everything works out and yeah, people like what we listen or people like what they're hearing. I got a box full of merch here. We'll have you try some on and yeah. we'll make it. It's not it's not stamped yet with our logo, but we we we're, we're in the process of getting it ready. So that's exciting. Yeah, that's that's on the to-do list for sure, but yeah, it's I mean, you've got a busy Yeah, busy life coming up. <laughs> uh-huh. Busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, when you Same say, with you too. Hopefully, man, dude, you're gonna yeah. If you you go on to win this fight, you go pro. So what is what is that? Um, taking that leap to go pro over um amateur. What does that actually entail? Uh, pro. Once you go pro, your re- your record resets at zero and zero. Okay. And then you're signing a contract and money's involved. Okay. So who would you be hoping to sign with? For I guess. Short yeah, term. I haven't got that far. Yeah, yet. yeah right. Yeah. Focus on that yeah. after after this fight. one one fight at a time, and just right. yeah. But yeah, there's there's a lot of you got any disciplines you're a doing? A lot of nice leagues day to day, here. getting ready for your fight. Like I do this every single day, like no matter what. Like I, it's just daily something I'm doing. Daily. I mean, I think about fighting all the all the time, all day long. Um, I got a tattoo on my chest. It's the word believe. But it's uh, backwards, so I can see it in the mirror. Oh, I look at that yeah. every morning, and just tell oh, myself, that's cool. Tell myself to believe. Yeah, picture dude, I've, it that's, happening. And I've make never. It that's awesome, dude. I've never heard of anyone doing that before. That's pretty sick. Uh-huh. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, so yeah. I'm a recovering alcoholic, and um, went to the ER like five or six times. Yeah. Rehab a couple times. Uh, and when I was at rock bottom, I, I swear I'd be like looking at myself in the mirror. With mm-hmm. tears in my eyes, you know, like just telling myself to believe. Man. So then once I got sober, then I got the tattoo. Yeah. And uh, was fighting like a really good way to get out of that? Yeah. Fighting is perfect. Yeah. That's that's awesome, man. Such a disciplined lifestyle for sure. Is there anything that you would want to tell somebody that was in your shoes, you know, like struggling with whatever or any younger fighters that maybe are new to the sport? You, uh, really just believing in yourself. Believe in main, yourself. That's the main thing. Um, because I feel like in college wrestling, I didn't always believe in myself, and then just adding alcohol to everything. Right. I didn't have the success, nowhere near the success that I wanted, because I didn't believe in myself, and now my whole life is different. Just believing in myself. Yeah. Whatever I do. Yep. I've noticed for me, like things get better when I get out of my comfort zone a little bit. Like my, my brain just wants to run to comfort or run to the couch or just run to things that are comfortable. But when you, when you do things that are hard or challenging, it makes you feel bit better. It gives you, it gives you self value and you know, you just, you just feel good. Right. Like you get the, uh, a positive mindset doing uncomfortable things and you yep. just like talk to yourself like, Hey, I'm gonna go do this today. Like I normally wouldn't, but <laughs> you're in a good mood to go do it. Yep. Cause you're being yeah. positive yep. about it. And then. It might not be comfortable, but 
Yeah, and not putting things off too. Just fucking like remembering you're young and able too. Yeah, another good thing. Like, oh, this is this is this is uh, a blessing to be here where I'm at in my life. You know, I'm able to do things. I'm able to move my body. I'm able to. Yeah, how old did you say you were again? Uh, I'm 26 right now. 26. Yeah. Get after Dude, it, man. That yeah. Prime, prime age. Not even, not even in your prime yet. <clears throat> I would uh, say and he's still got a ways to go. Yeah, not in his case. He's he ain't even in his prime yet. Yeah, <laughs> I think like the body's peak prime is like thirty, right? Something <clears throat> around there. I don't know, man. I 30, feel old. 35, I yeah. feel yeah. old. <laughs> I do. I'm thirty. I'm thirty four. I'm out of my prime, dude. <laughs> yeah, you, you, I'm out of my prime. I'm twenty eight, yeah. and my back's done. My shoulders done. Yeah, dude. But like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you're good. Sure. Super hydrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, dude. But I don't know. <laughs> that's, rolling, dude. Yeah, it's just. Yeah. Uh, getting after it. Yeah. When getting so I, in that zone when you're still. I was uh, still 26. I mean, I'm only 29, but going to be 29. Yeah. But still, it's yeah. like. I was. Know, uh, if you can get if you can just get up every day and go do it, that just. You kind of break the rust off right out, right out of the gate. Oh, for sure. You know, yep. You're on top of it before it even gets there. Yeah, there's, there's. Everybody's got like a different mental trick. You know, some people it's just you know putting their shoes on. Once they put their shoes on, they're they're good to leave the house or do what they need to do, whether it's a run or whatever the fuck it is. You know, put put my shoes on. And once my shoes are on, too late to go back. You know, dude. That's what I say about work every day. As long as I get, get the to the building, do you put yeah. your shoes on before your pants. If I I get to the building before I put my pants on. On Tuesdays. But yeah, as long as you, like, at work, that same thing with, like, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Getting up, being in an uncomfortable situation is beneficial for me. For me, it's financially beneficial. Oh, yeah. Getting always, to work early? You know, what? Getting to work early? Or, or what's no, funny? just just being like, up and at work. Just oh, yeah, at yeah, work, morning. like, at, doing engines and yeah. doing, like, just, uh, you know, I'm not trying... I, you know, like cu- I'm trying to. I don't pair like getting out of bed in the morning. But once I'm up, though, I'm fucking glad that I got up. I've been it's waking just up. Just getting up that sucks. I've been and waking I've, up earlier, uh, dude. I've been getting to work on time. <laughs> Rob changed my schedule around, and it's seven thirty to four thirty. I've been getting to work on time, and I've been staying till four thirty and later every day. Yeah, I see you there it's grinding like, late. Yeah, like that's friggin' hassle, and I hate it. But money's awesome. Money is, <laughs> I so it's kind of worth it, dude. Money sucks. <laughs> <laughs> money actually sucks, but it's necessary <clears throat> because I have a mortgage. So, so yeah, that's that. You get up and do it. <laughs> so you got to do what you got to do, right? You got to get up and do it, no matter what. Yeah, I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, back to the believing in yourself thing. Um, I think that confidence is a big key too. Mm -hmm. And if you go from that mindset of I'm going to be somebody someday to Mm -hmm. I'm somebody right now, everything changes. Like like, confidence wise. Champions are champions before. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. And I didn't start thinking that way until like a couple years ago, honestly. And like just... You know, the podcast isn't that big right now, but I feel like... Con- the grind's there. Yeah. Like, even the our, consistency's there, so... Even our boss, Rob, he talks about you, kind of like how you changed. Yeah. And you really kind of stepped up. Man yeah, up. I used to just be like a f- lazy pothead, man. Just <laughs> not doing anything, but... Same. <laughs> Dude, we're, we're in issues, it now. We're in issues. it now. Had, had some wild issues but, in hey. our in our tenure, especially just at, our, at the Darrow, but... There are also We're, blessings though, because like when I was at alcoholic and rock bottom, like a lot, like being there, just ha- helped me be the person I am today. Oh, a oh, thousand yeah. percent. You, you, you and now, you, something, now you're too scared to go back to that. Think person. of something. Yeah, oh right. My God. You never want to go back to it. Mm-mm. It's just a remi- a constant reminder of motivation. Yep. What you don't want. You to seen. Do. You see, and that's the thing. I, you know, I had plenty of issues with um, drugs. And name it whatever, um, but 
yeah you 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 see how it doesn't just affect your life but other people's lives and you know the people that because it everything that happens in life you either you work hard for it and a lot of times it's you know someone you know and then someone helps you get there for me personally i got a job through my uncle and this and that and then you go through situations where you just kind of screw it up along the way and it's like damn it kind of yeah you you get scared to go back there because it's like well all these people gave me opportunities i i'm here on not necessarily my own merit and i'm just screwing it up mm -hmm. so then when you kind of get out of that and you can look back and you know say oh shit i fucked up and you, you see know, what you took for granted you, right right and then you you actually make a change to do better and you work for everything that you get then that's the mindset that it's like i'm here for a reason like you can't take it yeah yeah you know absolutely um do you ever feel like uh you know i don't know like like a champion already like do you have walk around like with a different confidence like just knowing that you did overcome what you overcame and you just you feel like you've already won that battle with yourself kind of yeah like that that was for sure that was definitely the biggest fight of my life yep you know that's, uh, that's awesome so the hard part's already out of the way yeah they say if you can beat yourself you can beat anybody you know yep. yeah thousand percent if you can just get through your own personal struggles and move forward that's everything else is easy right and you at, know at rock bottom you just learn so many things yep. about yourself you appreciate so many more things you can respect so much more about everything else around you and that's where you can just like all right well i don't have anything else let's get to work right you, <laughs> you know you appreciate you just the like good times. well You're i what right. else do i got um this is rock bottom let's work figure it out you know yeah, it makes all the good things even better too yep. once you start yep. accomplishing things yep oh yeah oh yeah what, yeah. Ti what time are you waking up every morning man what time you get up uh, nor normally I'll wake up at like four and go to the gym. I've been a, a little off schedule. Damn. Sleeping late. <laughs> four? Yeah. I got <laughs> four, dude. Damn. I thought I had an early schedule. That's the like grind. So it's 620. <laughs> yeah, I get up at 625. 625 is my first alarm. Yeah. Do you have to eat a lot for your, for your uh, nutrition? Or yeah, you, I mean, do you fast or what? I normally eat like three meals a day. I always tell people I'm like the healthiest unhealthy eater uh -huh. possible. Like, I'll eat some tofu, <laughs> and then and then I'll just go straight to junk food. <laughs> I'll be like, snacking. We'll uh, just snack all day at work. It's hunger. We're hungry, and it's like, what do they have? <laughs> Dude, well, these guys right here, their their metabolism hasn't caught up to them yet. No. I used to be like that. Yeah, dude, I got to... I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to bulk right now, so I'm eating just a lot of eggs, a lot of protein shakes. Shit it's like tough. That. It's, it's, it's tough. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough. I've never... I've, I've never been able to you gotta gain eat, weight or anything. Or eat like, to the max. Dude, I tried it. <laughs> tried it. I've literally been the same size since, like, I was probably 17. <laughs> Even in, like, your... <laughs> hardcore like your more drinking days you never gained any like no yeah oh no nah, that's crazy man what are you doing resetting the camera so we have another so it doesn't shut off on us oh it shuts off every 30 minutes just by itself that's like the, <clears throat> the time limit i just put a little i just put our logo logo up in between the spots all right well on that note we got well let's spend another 10 minutes what do you is there anything you want to touch on before we uh with as far as fighting goes i just i always want to have a super exciting fight to watch like i never want to be a boring fighter to watch like every fight that someone sees me fight in i want them to be like oh man he went out Put on a show, gave it his all. 
Oh yeah. And it was exciting and fun to watch. That's why you're here so because it. you went out and you put on a show. I was like, ah, I remember him. You know, my neighbor told me about who you were before I even saw you fight, which was, I think is crazy. <clears throat> Small world, you know. Uh, I was talking about Alton, and my neighbor was like, "Oh, uh, I know Mosiah or whatever." I was like, "Oh, word! I'll keep that in mind." Now you're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's been talking but, about you for a while. Yeah. So I'm glad that we finally got to get you on here, and I'm super pumped for your fight now. Way more pumped than I was before you got here. Like I'm invested in you now. Yeah, so yeah. that's yeah. that's Did another I, thing about fighting is watching fights live. It's so different than on TV, but when you like know the person emotionally, yeah. it's like I personally I get way more nervous for my teammates f to fight than than I do for myself. Yep, you're invested. Yeah, yeah. invested. Yeah. It yeah. feels like you have a stake in it too. It, yeah, do I? I. That's when Alton fights. I was I just, just like, gonna bring up Alton too. It's Gets just so like nervous, every dude. time Alton fights, I get like I get nervous and like you know we've seen him win, we've seen him lose, and it's like. Every time you you go into it, just like, yeah, and, uh, you know, it it makes me kind of you know I'm nervous for a friend that's fighting, and it, you know, I get all fidgety and s sweaty palms and this and that, and it's like, dude, I'm not the one in the cage that's getting punched <laughs> right? in the fucking face right now. Like, <laughs> yeah. dudes out. Like, I don't know. That's it is like a whole different mindset to actually like step in the cage and. But it is when when you spend time with people and you have conversations and you you know you you go to through things with people, it you are invested in right. what yeah. you're doing personally, and it's like it's it's more than just you know what you said watching watching a fight live because you can watch a fight live and you're like oh shit oh it's shit the but then when but then when your boy comes out it's like. Yeah, let's it's go. Time. It's ten, fifty, a thousand times more exciting, and you're just like, it's yeah. It does the crowd ever kind of like makes, go away when you're fighting? Like, does, does the crowd go? Yeah, away? normal. The crowd goes away, and then I'll just hear my coaches. Yeah, right. Yeah, you no. Know, so yeah. you don't hear that guy shouting like dumb <laughs> shit. Like, I mean, you'll you'll hear the chance and whatnot, but you yeah. mainly. I feel like you just learn to like listen to your coaches. Yeah. Tune yeah. Grab his dick right? and twist and that's, it. No, that's what I was getting at. Is like no, we don't even just hear that when you're even, running a marathon. Even being or. like as little invested as I've ever been in Alden's fight, just being his friend and being there and just feeling that pressure and having the person go out there and perform and just put all that pressure aside. Like yeah, it's that's. Not. Yeah, it's one of the being dude, able to put that pressure aside and MMA is the coolest sport. In the like you world, said, is just so tuning hard. everything out, and you're just there with your coach and the other guy across from you, and you're yeah, just doing your thing. Right. right? There's nothing else like it's right. the funnest thing I've ever done. Just the adrenaline, and right? Just you're ne you're never like like in the moment, right? In you're life like you are when there's someone across the cage trying to hurt you. Oh, I bet, I bet. I wanted to, it was something I always wanted to do, but I'm too old for it now. So I'm just going to watch you do it. <laughs> um, we get backyard. <laughs> we'll get some boxing gloves. <laughs> I believe some shin pads. I believe Peter's comment. Peter. Uh, Johannes. Yeah. You know him? Yeah. He's, is he announcing again this time? Um, I'm not sure. Did he He'll be there for sure though. Sounded like he was doing awesome. I love his voice, dude. He's got a good voice for this stuff. He's always around. Brian Roker. So we've, that's what, who was seen, driving I've on. seen him all over the, every local fight I've been to. Yeah. He's an encyclopedia. Um, well, on that note, I think we're going to wrap it up. It was uh, awesome having you yeah, here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, February 3rd, CFFC 24 at the uh, Monona Terrace Convention Center. Look it up. Check it out. We're going to leave a link in the description if you want uh, info on tickets. We're going to crank this episode episode uh, out right away. So uh, as soon as Dane gets gets it back to us, it'll be out. Get that fight hype. Um, yep. Look him up. Mosiah Clark. Yep. We'll leave a link to all your stuff in the in the bio, too. Um, Number one flyweight in Wisconsin. Sure. Oh, yeah. All right. Cheers, everybody. Peace. Peace. Peace.